Never trust the opinion of someone that lives in a foggy climate. Okay, not literally, but there is some really cool evidence demonstrating that if we get more sunlight, we actually might have more cognitive function. Maybe we can actually be smarter by getting more sunlight. Really wild stuff. Now let's go ahead and dive in because I've got a study that has 16,800 people in it that really demonstrates how powerful this is. It's not just me pulling some random little study with four people. This is legit stuff. Let's go ahead and dive in. After today's video, check out Thrive Market. I put a link down below. You can save 30% off your whole grocery order and then it gets delivered to your doorstep. So right now with food prices the way they are, things getting expensive, gas being crazy expensive, I'm really all about ordering my food and getting it delivered to my doorstep. Okay, so it makes things just way simpler for me. So Thrive Market, using that link, you save 30% off your entire grocery order, plus it's foods that I endorse and condone because they really are better for you options. So highly recommend that that link will save you 30% off, plus you get a $50 free gift when you check them out. So use that link down below. Okay, so this study was published in the journal Environmental Health and it looked at 16,800 people. Really fascinating stuff, okay? And it demonstrated that the more sun exposure, the brighter the sun, the brighter the exposure, the more cognitive function, the more overall cognitive performance there was. Now, they found this in a dose-dependent fashion, okay? This means that people that got a little bit of sunlight had a little bit of cognitive function improvement. People that got a lot of bit of sunlight had a lot of cognitive function improvement. We know this from a few studies. For example, there was one published in the journal Lancet that took a look at 101 subjects in different areas of the world in different climates. And they found that, wow, okay, those that had more sun typically had higher levels of serotonin production, better serotonin turnover. And in the winter months, serotonin turnover was lower. So we do know through some observational stuff that serotonin plays a role, but that doesn't necessarily improve cognitive function, right? That improves mood, which is a different region of the brain. So what we have to do is we have to look at some other studies. And there was an interesting study published in the journal Cell, okay? And this looked more mechanistically, looked at what could be going on. When they looked at neurons and they removed the cytoplasm of neurons, they saw something called uh, urocanic acid. Now, urocanic acid is very important when it comes down to turning histidine into glutamate. Glutamate gets a bad rap because the glutamatergic effect on the brain, glutamate on the brain can be an excitotoxin or it's so excitatory that it could overstimulate the brain. But in a natural context, when we are actually getting a glutamate hit from the in the brain from the sun, that's a more natural effect. So what this study ultimately found is that UVB light from the sun increases this glutamate at glutamatergic neuron synapses, glutamatergic synapses in two very major areas of the brain. Okay, so two very important synapses. What that means is that it was a more isolated glutamate buildup in the right regions of the brain. And what constitutes the right regions of the brain? Well, if you look at other studies, particularly some rodent model studies that really looked at a lot of this, discovered that these particular synapses, these particular glutamatergic synapses were associated with memory and learning. Okay, so now we might understand, okay, is that why when you look at this large 16,800 person study, people that are in the sun more have better cognitive function? Could it have to do with the glutamatergic synapses, that area of the brain? It's very interesting, it very well could be. But then we also have to look at another piece. Okay, we already know the serotonin piece, now we're talking about the glutamate, but there's another component that might have to do with beta endorphins. Okay, there's a reason why if you go out for a run or you go and you do some exercise, you feel good, right? It's there's some endorphins, but those endorphins make your brain feel pretty good too. And I bet you if you were to kind of do some arithmetic or something like that after like nice casual activity, you might feel good. Now, what's to say it's the workout or what's to say it's the sun? Well, there was a cool study published in the journal Photochemistry and Photobiology, took a look at subjects that had been out in the sun, okay, exposed to UVB light versus not. They did skin biopsies, okay, 11 out of the 12 people that were exposed to UVB light had pretty marked increases in beta endorphins, indicating that the sunlight, when it hits the skin, triggers endorphins, which change how we feel and changes 
almost makes us addicted to getting in the sun. So you try this kind of three-pronged approach here, the serotonin, the glutamate, and the endorphins, that lights up your brain, no pun intended, right? But when it comes down to actual cognitive function, and we look at the observational stuff outside of any mechanistic stuff, it does make sense. It looks pretty darn clear. Being out in the sun might be one of the more powerful things we can do for our brain, and it's right there, and it doesn't cost a thing. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I'll see you tomorrow.